FM synthesis has long been quite tricky uh, to program, especially on the classic FM synths, the DX7 by Yamaha, the DX2711, all of those keyboards. Um, plugins such as the EFM1, which is the Logic plugin, are more pictorial and a little bit more user friendly, but they still retain the features of the original keyboards. Now, we have a carrier, uh, which is a note like this. Seems basic enough. That note, we can change the harmonic of it. At the moment, you're listening to the second harmonic. The first harmonic is the one that's an octave below that. There we go. All of those are part of what's called the harmonic series. This is how a trumpet works. That was my attempt at the last post on an FM synth with just a fader. Didn't work. So there's our basic sound. Now we have, that's the carrier. The modulator just sits on top of that and does all sorts of wonderful things with the central control on this page, which is marked FM. And the modulator And also have its harmonic adjusted like that. It's pretty wacky, it sounds very digital. The fashion at the moment is for these things like the Alchemy synth, which is the newest one on Logic, uh, which is very much a sort of an analog synth idea, whereas this was a completely new idea, all digitally done and rather digital in sound, but it doesn't mean it's not capable of some great things. Lots of things. So we could do something like um, making a snare drum sound, for example. So if we have a, a sharp attack and a very short decay, lots and lots of FM synths. There's a half decent snare drum. Need to beef it up a bit. You can actually, on this plugin, dial in the original fundamental frequency just to beef, beef the bass end up a bit. There we go. So just going back to the maximum uh, decay, let's just get that uh, first harmonic back. There it is. You can fine tune the harmonic that you're getting for each note. At the moment, you're hearing a C there. We just go slightly either side of it. And if you bring in the modulator, I've tried all known frequencies, Captain. Initiating shutdown. All sorts of space age effects. Imagine what that would sound like through a reverb or delay or something like that. Now on particular plugins like this, it's actually quite a good idea to set, uh, maybe let's have a look at bell. There we go, dissonant bells. And it gives you your pictorial representation of what is actually happening. And from that, you can then tweak and actually really fathom how FM works. Yeah, maybe something like this. You're looking as a waitress in a cocktail bar. That much is true. You can get some quite good electric pianos out of this. just play.
play with those things. This keyboard here is just a controller, just a USB controller, but I've made uh, Logic learn various uh, sort of sliders and control knobs to control various aspects of this synth. So you can control this on the fly quite easily, which is something that is much, much more difficult to do with the Yamaha DX series. So it actually turns the FM synth into quite a nice performance module. On this particular one, we've got something called a unison control. What that does is when it's on, as it is at the moment, it creates a chorus effect in that it puts two of the synths together, but very slightly um, apart in pitch. So if I play a chord, that's without, and then with, just creates a slightly atmospheric sound. We also have something called Stereo Detune, uh, which is actually a control for another sort of chorus. Which just spreads it across the stereo image. So there is an introduction to FM synthesis, well worth a play because you can get stuff here that you really can't get anywhere else.